In this video, we're going to investigate operations on functions. In your homework, you will have two functions provided, and you'll be asked to perform the four basic operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Honestly, when it comes to the division part of it, we're not going to actually have to divide our functions. We will stack them in a, a fraction, creating a rational function. We will need to make note of the domain of that part of it. But let's start with addition and subtraction. Uh, we have two functions given. These are both lines, 3x minus 7 and 2x, or excuse me, 2 minus x. The um, addition of f and g, just use your intuition. It's function f plus function g, 3x minus 7 plus 2 minus x. Because there's um, no coefficients in front of those parentheses, you just drop them out. 3x minus x is 2x, negative 7 plus 2, that's negative 5. With addition, it really is just adding like terms. With subtraction, you have to be a little more careful. That one, you have function f minus function g. If function g has two or more terms in it, like this one is 2 minus x, then you have function f 3x minus 7 minus function g, 2 minus x, you will have to be careful to distribute that minus sign if this second function has two or more terms in it. 3x minus 7 minus 2 plus x, combine like terms once you have cleared the parentheses, that's 4x minus 9. With multiplication, in the parentheses, f and g will be placed next to each other, but that's function f times function g, 3x minus 7 times 2 minus x. Let's start with 3x, distribute it, that's 6x minus 3x squared. And then we move over to negative 7, distribute it, that's negative 14 plus 7x. Combine your like terms, and or I like to arrange in descending order, so I have negative 3x squared. 6x and 7x is 13x, and then the only constant is negative 14. f over g of x, f of x, that function is your numerator. g of x, that function is your denominator. I did make a note in a different colored pen that this is only defined when x isn't 2. In your homework, you'll also be asked to provide the domain of the division. Well, remember domain's all the good guys, so the domain of f over g is all real numbers such that x isn't 2. In our second example, function f is a linear function, 2x plus 1. g of x is a quadratic function, x squared minus 49. Starting with addition, f plus g, we take function f, add the like terms of function g to it, 2x plus 1 plus x squared minus 49, that's x squared plus 2x, combining the constants, that's negative 48. So here is the sum of those two functions. f minus g of x, function f minus function g, 2x plus 1 minus x squared minus 49, because the second function has more than one term, we have to distribute the minus sign. 2x plus 1 minus x squared plus 49. Combining like terms and writing in descending order, we have negative x squared plus 2x plus 50. The product of these two functions fx times g of x. 2x plus 1 times x squared minus 49. Start with 2x, distribute it. That's 2x cubed minus 98x. Then move over to plus 1, distribute it. x squared minus 49. And now, there are actually no like terms to combine. Every term has a different exponent. I like to start at the top, 2x cubed plus x squared minus 98x, minus 49, and it just, to me, it gives it a cleaner look. If you write them in descending order, 
Again, there were no like terms to combine, but we just rearranged them. The fourth operation of division, actually stacking as a ratio of two functions, f of x over g of x, 2x plus 1 over x squared minus 49. There are two values of x that create a zero denominator, and that is 7 and negative 7. Either one of these values creates a zero denominator, and that's not good for mathematics or functions. All real numbers such that x isn't those two. Domain is the set of good x values. It's just easier to find the bad ones and toss them out.